Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 1, 43-51. After Jesus had decided to leave for Galilee, he met Philip and said, Follow me. Philip came from the same town, Bethsaida, as Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, the one about whom the prophets wrote. He is Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. From Nazareth, said Nathanael, can anything good come from that place? Come and see, replied Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There is an Israelite who deserves the name, incapable of deceit. How do you know me, said Nathanael. Before Philip came to call you, said Jesus, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, You are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus replied, You believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than that. And then he added, I tell you most solemnly, you will see heaven laid open and, above the Son of Man, the angels of God ascending and descending. Jesus calls. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Who can enter your sanctuary, O Lord? The man with a clean heart and lips, the Lord replies. Lord, you are calling us today, more than ever before, to awaken from our fig tree complacency in a world of half-truths and lies, to be a witness to your truth, wherever we are, whatever our state Lord, open the heavens and let your Holy Spirit pour out onto us. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. As we follow you into a new year of uncertainty and upheaval, let us remember that when we follow you, you will reveal the Father to us, who will send us heavenly aid. Let us not grow weary, but unite with the Church glorified, the Church militant, and the church suffering. A new day is dawning. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.